Hello everyone, I am Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. I am an eBay reseller and I love to do unboxings. Um, I recently, in the last couple months, I haven't gotten a lot of my favorite, which is designer boxes, but um, hopefully they'll become available soon because I did get a fairly good one last time. I, I might try them again now, so, um, but they're not available very often. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a thread up fabric and textile box. And um, those are boxes of, ten, it's 10 pounds of, of different fabrics. It could be a tutu, it could be a ripped dress, it could be a dress in perfect shape. Uh, but usually um, the commonality among these items are usually that they have an interesting fabric. So um, you could, you know, if you wanted to, you could make something else out of them or um, I've sold dresses out of these boxes and, and that almost every time that paid back for the box. So, um, I think Reformation dress, I got one time in one of these boxes and I sold that, um, for a hundred dollars. So, um, so yeah, let's get to this box. This is the box. It's one of the bigger ones. It's pretty heavy. Uh, and it is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, if you are also a person who opens, does these unboxings, you probably know Mechanicsburg has been like the place. That's where they're coming from these days. So, um, and they only put one piece of tape on and it never seems to come off. So good for them. It must be a, it must have it just down to a science. Okay. But it's still hard to open. I hope we got it that time. All right. I, I noticed ThreadUp has not been restocking these boxes as often as they used to. Rescue box. Yep, it was $24 plus t uh, plus shipping, so it was about $35. Uh, you know what? I will say this. There's always a variety of things, but it's never boring. It's never boring. So there we go. I'm going to put the box over here. Well, I'll give you the first look. Here is the box. The first look. Let's hope we get a cool ringer in this box. I hope so. <laughs> and I brought a magnifying glass this time because sometimes... It's hard to find the information you want to. Okay, we've got, oh, two by Vince Camuto. Um, I, Vince Camuto's a, a good brand name. I don't know, two by Vince Camuto. I never heard of it. That's got a big stain on it. Yeah, bummer. That's too bad. I mean, I can probably wash it and get it out. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look up the brand name two. I, I feel like it's a uh, diffusion line of theirs that's probably from Kohl's or something. I don't know. That's just a guess. I don't know. Anyway, all right, here is New Directions, New Directions, and actually this is kind of a cute fabric, so it's, it's like a, it's a vest kind of thing, it's kind of got this western looking, um, it's polyester I think, but it's cute, it's really, it's really nice, uh, what, what are the sleeves like, they're these, yeah, this is, this is a cute, this, I will list this in the, unless anyone's interested, but I'm going to show you the label. And it is a Vince, or sorry, New Direction size large. So that is pretty cute. I like that one. All right. Ooh. Ooh. What have we here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> this is cute. I, I, this is really pretty. Wow. Look at this. I mean, I love these gemstones. These are so cute. This looks like a vintage. It looks like a vintage to me. Uh, it's a sweater. It's 55% Raimi and 45% cotton. L Lisa Ashley original. Okay, this is in excellent condition. Look at this sweater. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go ahead and say that that is vintage. That's my guess. Uh, it, it doesn't even look like it was ever worn. I mean, oh, that's cute. I'm going to have to look up that brand. There's shoulder pads. And you know, you rarely get a sweater with, sh with shoulder pads anymore. So um, Lisa Ashley originals. Yeah, I don't know. Show it to you again here. Put the Lisa, if you can see that, Lisa Ashley original size large. Very, very cute. Ooh, I like, you know, I love unique things. Um, whether it's vintage or what, you know what, un unique things usually will sell. Okay, this is also unique and rather interesting. It's a polyester, it's a um, apron, it looks like to me. Yeah, it's an apron and it's got kind of like that French, 
provincial kind of look. Is there a brand name on this? Wash. Um, no, but the, the tag makes it look like a newer. It's not old or anything. It's it's got a more modern one of these modern tags. It's kind of like that durable material. It's not. It's I don't know if it's plastic or whatever. But anyway, uh, this is adorable. Look how look at how pretty that is. Really, really nice. I like that. Huh? Cute. Another unique thing. Not a great brand name. I don't. You know, if there was no brand name on it, but okay, this is the next thing. Lane Bryant. This looks like a, oh, I don't know. It's kind of like a vest type thing, I think. Uh, um, here is the fabric. So, um, it's a pretty design. I mean, it's a pretty, you know, design on the fabric, I think. 100% um, polyester. I don't think, there's no size on this that I can see because I think it's one size. Uh, it, it's it's just got this, you know, kind of like a kimono type thing. So another thing I think would sell, I, I would think so. But all right, next up is Ann Taylor size six polka dot dress. That is tiny. Uh, it's it's blue. It's navy blue with beige polka dots, and it's a, it's like a polyester material. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a, just a dress, so I don't know. I don't, I have not had luck ever selling Ann Taylor, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? All right, here is a shower curtain. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I am actually not kidding. This is a shower curtain. I, I hope it was never used. Ew. Uh, yeah, but I don't think it was. It does not. It's, it looks new. 100% polyester. I've never gotten a shower curtain in one of these. I have no need for a shower curtain. If you need a shower curtain, you just let me know. Give you a really good deal on this ba uh, burgundy shower curtain. Here are the shower. The rings look like this. Weird. Okay. Well, I I doubt that'll sell, but uh, <laughs> you never know. Stranger things have happened. Okay. All right. Next up is this thing. What is it? Ah, it is pineapple and watermelon, kind of a cute summery design. And it looks, you know what it looks like? One of those things that they make you wear at the doctor's office when you get an exam. Weird. Ah, uh, doesn't, does it say what size? Size medium. No brand name, but let's see if we can find a brand name here. Um, no, I don't know. I think it's either, I don't think the hospital would have this kind of design. So it's probably just a wrap shirt, size medium. Okay. Oh, no, I like this. This is a pretty, pretty dress. Oh, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> all right. Lily Pulitzer. When I first saw this, I thought maybe, and then I'm like, that's not 100% Lily Pulitzer, is it? And then I looked a little closer, and sure enough, look at this. It's a midi length, and oh my gosh, it's pretty. It's V-neck, and it's a size 8. Let's just show you the tag there. Uh, it's, it's really, really cute. Oh my heavens. Let's see, is anything wrong with it? The zipper works great. Oh, I, this is a good box. This is a pretty good one. Um, you know, you always get some crazy stuff, but I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't see anything. I mean, huh. I wonder if it just, I don't know. I wonder if it just didn't sell. You know, here's what I love about Lily Pulitzer. Like things like this. Look at the inside lining of this. It has this lace. Uh, I think it says Lily on the lace. I mean, that's the inside lining. It's the little attention to detail. There is nothing wrong with this dress. It's a size eight, um, and that will sell on eBay in short order. Even though it's kind of a summary, summary design that will sell in short order. Lily Pulitzer, boy oh boy, you can even sell size zeros of that brand. <laughs> okay, Forever Twenty One. All right, well, not not so bad. All right, size medium. It's a maxi dress. It looks like. Very, very cute. Um, 
that's really pretty. I think it's linen. Is that linen? Forever 21 doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a brand that has a lot of linen, but I could be wrong. Okay, it's a it's an A-line skirt. I don't know, but it's probably about ankle length. And let me just see what the material is. Ah, no, that tag is torn out. But anyway, here is the tag. Forever 21, size medium. Uh, looks like it's got just a, a round neck, sleeveless. Um, it's very, very pretty. I would definitely wear this dress. I think it's gorgeous. And it, it feels like it has some linen and maybe some cotton, something like that. So, cute. I'm still, I'm still wowed by that Lily Pulitzer dress. I'm so, what? I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, what is this? Now, if you are a spicy person, you like spicy things, this is the dress for you. Because look at these chilies. <laughs> or, you know what? I don't know. I'm in Minnesota, okay? We're not, I love spicy food, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Ah. I love spicy food, but, uh, you know, typically in Minnesota, you don't, <laughs> people don't use a lot of chilies, but you know, anyway, I do because I, I like that, but, um, all right. The name on this is Lindy Bop. I suspect this is one of those dresses that, um, you can buy from like a, um, you know, Lindy Bop is the name of a dance. I think it was kind of like popular in the fifties. I think this is kind of like that theme, um, uh, like a pinup style dress, I would, I mean, that's what it feels like to me that it is, but I'm going to have to look this up. So it's Lindy Bop and it's a U.S. size 10. Let's show you the tag. And the pattern is adorable. It's these chili peppers the, and with a roughly bottom, no, not a roughly bottom, I guess, but the, the top is, you know, like this and I think it could be off shoulder. Um, absolutely adorable. I can't even believe I will look these over, by the way, before I post this video to make sure they're okay. Um, you know, so that there aren't, I'm not trying to sell them with holes in them and things. The stained one, I don't know. We'll see about that. I got one more item here. Well, maybe more than one. What is this? Okay, this is what I pulled out of the, oh, yeah. It's stained. It's very stained. But you know what? Something tells me it's a nice dress. I probably could get that stain out. What in the world? FTF. I, I don't know what that means. FTF. If you do, let me know. But here's the brand name. FTF. Size zero. And, uh, okay. Okay, this is, the hook from the back is kind of, um, something tells me this is an expensive dress. And so I'm going to try and get this stain out of here because look at the stain. Where, where'd it go now? It's like there's a bunch of parts to this thing. <laughs> Okay, the front, is that the front? Yeah, that's the front, I think. All right, there was a stain over here. Yeah, right there. You can see several stains over there, but uh, I'm pretty sure I could get that clean. And look at the bottom of this dress. I mean, it's adorable. So I'm gonna try and get that clean. That is, that's cute. That's a nice dress, I mean. Uh, I feel like it, I'm going to have to look it up and see if I can find a similar one, but uh, I will I will definitely be trying to get that thing clean. How exciting. I'm getting some good stuff in here. One more item. One more item. And it's Lacey. And it's a Torrid brand, which is a great seller, by the way. Torrid size 2. I think that's, I don't know, is that 2XL, I think? I think that's how that works. It's got these shoulder straps, and then it's, is it a, um, open shoulder shirt or whatever. It's actually a nice shirt. It's kind of a your roughly brand, roughly look. Um, and Torrid actually, every time I've seen clothing from Torrid out when I'm thrifting, uh, they they actually have a lot of cute styles. So, so this is a size Torrid too. And yeah, I am absolutely happy. I am absolutely happy with this box. Wow. I'm kind of in awe right now. I think that's the best one I've ever gotten. One time I did also get uh, a gunny sacks dress, a vintage gunny sacks dress from like the 80s, you know, and the 80s are my time. So that was exciting. Uh, it had a big tear in it, but I still sold it for $150.
So, okay. Well, anyway, uh, let me know what you think of this box down below. I'm definitely going to be buying another one as soon as I see them available. So let me know what you think. If you are interested in any of these items, send me an email to mystuffstyle at gmail.com. Um, shipping would be $8 for any as many items as you want from this box. Um, if it, I might be able to go a little bit lower if it's just one light item. So, um, and I will invoice you using PayPal. Um, you don't need to have PayPal to pay it. You can just use any debit or credit card. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching. And if you like my content, subscribe and have a wonderful day.